Jasper. And I'm Joe, and uh, we're, we're the Stamies. Hey. We're the Stamies! <laughs> uh, so we got our van orange, I guess, from some dude. He's a, uh, he buys cars from auction, essentially, and sells them. But he bought this originally to do a uh, van delivery, or like a delivery service. And then the route just wasn't big enough, so we sold it, and yeah. we got it for we a good price. We got it for price. a really, really good price. It was the first van we went to go see, too. We literally just like sent out a couple emails that day, and this guy hit us up. We went to go see it that day, and bam. This like, is how this we shot it. Like, I yeah. can stand up in it, sold. Done. Yeah, exactly. You know? Bam. We saw it in the parking lot, like driving in, and we were just like, holy, that's it. That's it. That's the van we're getting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and its name is Boney Van, or Boney Bear. Boney Bear kind of means a lot to us in our relationship, and um, there was this really nice moment when we were watching one of his sets where he did this whole like you can do it thing and it's like because mm -hmm. I'm a guy who did it so yeah we it just was did really it. cool very inspiring and this isn't a real price tag 495 was not the price of the yeah van. <laughs> I wish <That's>, it was <laughs> so the stealth of it was kind of unplanned we even at one point had wanted to switch and put a caption style window in at the beginning mm -hmm. just so we could look out because we've been so many places it's like you want to look out and see what's around you yeah when you're instead inside. you're just you know not a bad view but i don't want to always look at her and my dog <laughs> so we wanted a window but then after a couple nights we've had to stay in hotel parking lots or in a neighborhood it's like for one we don't want to be looking out and we don't want the illusion of someone looking out of their van because that's the best thing when you're around like a school <laughs> yeah well and it's just like it's kind of nice like that no one ever knows we're in there it's nice that no one would ever know that people live in this like with windows and stuff you know you get that a lot and you can kind of see the light coming through and stuff like that so uh we just feel really safe when we're inside of it now and we wouldn't have it any other way at this point it makes it feel the stealthiness of it makes it feel more like a, a studio apartment inside too. Mm -hmm, for as sure. opposed to being like you're very much in a van because we have friends whose vans are great and the windows are nice in the day when you get all that light but it's also like and you're I can very see them on as display. I'm by, yeah, that, it's super on display, and I kind of like the privacy yeah, this, aspect this, of it. I think if we did it again and we got one with windows, we would probably cover them. Yeah, for sure. Like that's for sure how nice it is. It's <laughs> right? the exact opposite and it gave of us more wall space. Yeah, like we don't have like these giant windows in the way, so we were able to you know cover it up a little bit more, use the space a little, a little more storage. Yeah, for sure. We basically have these like six gallons of water with like three gallons here. This is like our drink of water. This is like our just because our sink is a pump sink. So this kind of makes our life so much easier when we just need to like dump stuff. This um, is like our whole full circle corner. Yeah. These are our water jugs. And then these are pee jugs. <laughs> yeah, so, emergency pee yeah. bottles. You gotta all, honestly have those when you live in a we van. Don't have the, we don't have a toilet inside of ours. Yeah, so we, wanna, we didn't, didn't want a have toilet. To deal with, yeah, like, or like having to dump shit places. It's yeah, that simple. Yeah, for sure. It just like and you know, there's so many grocery stores you can go to, gas stations, the ground. Like it, we honestly have never run into a problem with yeah. it not having a toilet. So having the six gallons is down from eight at one point and up from two. It's about 10 days worth of water if we use it right. Because we do have the dogs, so the dog water is always that something that they always have to have well and, and in addition to the these like nine gallons here we also have an additional six gallons in our sink yeah, so, so, this is just um, so we have a lot dogs. of water storage uh, just in case we stay somewhere for like 10 days you know and we don't want to move spots like this amount of water will definitely get us through and again this is down because we had too much there was a point to where it was like yeah, you're doing so more moving water. water than you were actually <laughs> You're getting tired enough to drink the water, just moving it. It's pointless. And a lot of people ask us why we don't use like a one giant gallon container and use like all these different six gallons. And honestly, it's just like the space, like just not having something huge right here and being able to just like take one at a time, like with us into bed and stuff like that. It just kind of made our lives a little bit easier. And having the dogs, if we go somewhere yeah. and we take the dogs, we can just grab a grab water. Grab one of water jug. Well, and... here's our water, guys. Here's all six <laughs> gallons. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's it's really nice to have it like that's that. that's such a pain in the ass. It, we're such comfort creatures. We get we to are. a point to where it's like even walking across the van has become it's too like, far at times. Uh, it's like, I just got into bed. I'm so sleepy. What is it? 8.30 p.m.? I'm not getting up. Dude, seriously. Uh, so um, then 
Uh, yeah, we keep all our shoes here. We have too many shoes. Honestly, we have like a shoe for like every aspect of our life, like trail running, running, gym, just walking. Like it's ridiculous how many shoes we have, but that's just who we are. It really so, does make a difference, like having the different walking shoes than you're hiking. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Like, we could wear our hiking boots everywhere and they would be across the board fine. Yeah, but and then you have like strenuous boots and like rain boots and like all that kind of slippers, you know, it's just, it's kind of nice Slippies being comfortable. RVV Slippies, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just nice being comfortable, you know, when we're, we put ourselves like, you know, in a smaller space, but we still wanted comfort to feel like, you know, home, just to make it feel a little more like we're not, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know how to it's our explain house. that. It's yeah. to have the comfort of being like, what shoes do I want to wear today? Yeah, it's for just sure. Like, again, we're creatures of comfort so yeah totally so, so for this sure. l-shaped couch here is actually it's all storage too yeah so, so this is like all our, our nuts grains and our nuts seeds and, stuff. and oats and protein yeah. and all that good stuff but this middle section here like this pulls up so we can walk through so we can walk through if need be we never do yeah we never Honestly, use that we never it's use mostly that <laughs> somewhere for the dog to go over and under and then like we so when coming up with like the idea for the van it was actually originally all supposed to stop over here so like this wasn't this even was supposed to be here this was all supposed to be open but we ended up like making the kitchen way too big it just like measurement it just got really really long with everything we had to fit in it with the fridge and the water containers and stuff so we ended up having like this much space left for the couch and so we're like why don't we just like move it around because it's not like we really need this anyway and we wanted a space for the dogs to lay so little we made the little dog bed underneath the couch there yeah, yeah this is all a result of us thinking we were properly planned and not yes, just and being mm -hmm. shit planners because yeah. we're like yeah everything will end here and we'll have plenty of room to sit here and then we're like none of that is a real thing none <laughs> of it yeah none of that our happened. kitchen space would have been this big with our original <laughs> plan just... yeah and then this table is actually brand new we just installed this a couple days ago because now that we're both you know i'm building my business and stuff like that we just realized that like I wanted another space to work like instead of having it sit in my lap on a pillow every day we wanted this so this actually just like pops out yeah it's just two pieces here I don't know if I should pop it, it out. out but yeah this thing just pops out and this pops out so we could just store it behind there when we don't need it it's weird too because um, it actually I love makes it. the van feel bigger it even does. though it takes space away so I love this this is like one of my favorite new additions to the van that we just did recently we had planned on having a table for a while but we just didn't yeah it. we never got around to doing it and so finally when we took this three months in Arizona you know we just had time and a little bit extra money like honestly like this time in Arizona has not only helped us to save more money but it's also helped us to get things done that we wouldn't have been able to get done otherwise you know we just we don't have that extra cash every month so uh, being able to just like be like okay we're finally gonna get this plant that we've been wanting and finally gonna get this table and get new couch cushions these stuff, are so. these are our big splurges these are our big splurges <laughs> Plan. We love you, bud. You uh, were expensive. <laughs> 20 bones, US. We were looking for mosquito netting and everything we found was either just out of our price range. It was like $300 for a magnetic thing that just didn't make that sense for us. Or we tried to do like putting netting on Velcro and attaching it around the doorway and it just didn't work. It wouldn't hold. So this is just this. something nice to put and it doesn't keep all the bugs out, but mm -hmm. we have But we have like some magnets, some magnets that, that we'll, we'll just put do this. and then we'll just like close this. And it but keeps a majority of the bugs out. Yeah, and, it works. It, and it you also know. gives her a sleek, sexy feel. That's really, yeah. <laughs> this is all vanity. It was all for vanity. Yeah, welcome Obviously. to the boudoir. <laughs> I think I just like... And then, uh, so this one is more practical because we actually use it more. I can do it. I'll do it. Uh, but these are... Uh, this is a uh, full black, like a double black on this side. And then the white was originally these mountains. It's tapestry. <sighs> And we're super we're bummed like, about it. We don't have windows. This will feel like outside. Doesn't feel like outside. Mm. Just it kind of like just that. makes it a little darker. And we originally bought the tapestry thinking that it was that this couch wasn't going to be here you know so it was like well you can't even really see what's on the yeah, tapestry it was be like anyway a full wall of tapestry instead yeah of like instead a of a little just, picture so we thought the white kind of made it feel a little more open in here a little bit brighter just because we know we don't have windows so it does get super super dark in here so <laughs> this up here is yeah all, this is all blanket storage and uh 
it was all brown. It was the same color as this. And just painting it white, has, it just makes it feel so much bigger. Yeah, for sure. And so I can hear it. So this is actually a sign that uh, someone gave us as a gift at our wedding. So we wanted to reuse it in the van since, you know, it was just kind of special. And so we just keep like blanket snuggies. You know, you got to have your snuggies. Uh, onesies. <laughs> well, yeah, onesies. Sorry, I meant to say onesies, not snuggies. Um, but We're this not is... affiliated with snuggie at all. <laughs> Let's not. We just enjoy yeah. them. <laughs> um, snuggie, if you're listening. <laughs> Pop up, pop up, man. Pop up. We just have all of our blankets up there because we had them all in the van and now it's freaking like 89 degrees in Arizona right now. So we had to put it all away. But since we're going to be on the East Coast during the winter, we're like, fuck, we have to have a thousand different blankets with us. Yeah, we need blanket storage. So. <laughs> we got it. Yeah. So the cushions uh, are memory foam. They're just super glued together. We cut them to fit the pieces themselves. Yeah. And then uh, my mom actually sewed this like indoor outdoor material on them it yeah. wasn't this at first it was originally it the uh runners from our from our uh, wedding the runners from our wedding which but the really material cool. just got super dirty super quick yeah, yeah that was a cool idea though yeah, yeah well, it was really nice it was like blue like paisley like they were really really pretty but yeah it just it got so dirty with, with the dogs yeah. and with you know stepping Let's on it be and everything with us, just with us yeah honestly we're, 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 we're acting like all oh, these dogs are so dirty we don't shower for a week and a half sometimes, this so is... I can't say that that stench wasn't me. And this <laughs> is very rare footage of the van being being cleaned. We woke up very early this morning to clean the van for yeah, this. this is, so this is three yeah. out of every forty days. <laughs> yeah, definitely, it's never like this. But so, yeah, so this is a lot more sturdy and like doesn't get dirty is easy. Um, so this is really really nice material. I like this a lot better than what we had. And then, so. We have our pot holders, which we rarely actually use the pot holders. <laughs> more for decoration, it's, I guess, at yeah, this point. Yeah, it's more swearing and grabbing hot <laughs> things because there's not a lot of like, well, I'm going to come over here and get it. It's like, no, hot, done. Okay, done. We're good. <laughs> it's a short space. So this counter in the backsplash, we had originally gone to Home Depot to see if they could just make us a counter because mm -hmm. what we looked at, they were fairly cheap. And then when we actually got it priced out, they weren't fairly cheap anymore. <laughs> like, it was just going to be like a really basic gray. Maybe like, like a, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Sturdier material. Like but, an actual countertop in like a house. Yeah. You know, like something like that. And, uh, but it ended up being super, super expensive. And so we went and got this. This is a, uh, a chopping, chopping block. Chopping block. It's just, it, this is all one piece. So if this was flat, it's just, yeah, one, just long been one long piece of chopping block. Mm -hmm. And then, because we knew that we could oil it and then still have that same resilience as a countertop. And so then we have this awesome cutting board that's from the sink. Yeah. We just use the... Uh, we're taking orders now. They're only yeah, 100 exactly. bucks handcrafted. <laughs> so dirty. Uh, it was like at a lumber house. It, it was like, like it, whatever would be your local, like Lumber 84, yeah, Jack's for Lumber sure. Buds and it was, stuff like that. It, it was, was in Orange County in like Placentia. That's where we did the build in Placentia with my grandpa. Um, he has like a big shop in his garage. Uh, he's been a woodworker for his whole life, basically. Um, so he was basically like, I saw that there the other day. It was like 100 bucks. So uh, easy. Counter I think itself was going to be like 380 or something. It was like more than and that. It was crazy. For us to get this, the backsplash and the cutting board, you know, bucks. 100 bucks. And like, oh, yeah, we were crazy. even looking at the cutting boards. We're just like, because that's cool. It's cool to have a good cutting block. Let's see how much it was. And they're like 50 bucks for the exact same thing. Yeah, seriously. So it was like half the price of our whole thing. It's insane Dude, how much you can save yourself if you just take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Like, the cost of time versus the cost of a store is yeah, drastic. So when we did our that. build, it took us 23 days from mm -hmm. start to finish. We were working 50 oh, plus hour weeks. We yeah. took one day off in those 23 days and like, to go to Disneyland. Yeah, we did go to Disneyland. <laughs> which was a shit ton of fun as always. <laughs> and other than that, we just worked straight through. It was shop opened when her grandpa woke up in the morning, which yeah. was like for him like six. We would roll out like 8.30, probably 11. Yeah, most likely <laughs> yeah. 11, honestly. And then honestly. start like uh, right. doing our stuff and then when he was done at five, shop closed. It was, yeah, he it was, was every his, day, like yeah. five o'clock, shop is closed. Like we're not, cause you know, he had all of his like nice saws and nice equipment that he didn't like want us messing with alone. Um, want us ruining. Yeah. He's want, a very he realistic want us ruining. person. Yeah, yeah, he gets, he knows who I am. Like We got it done three days later than we planned. Our goal was June 1st and yeah, we, we got left it done. Yeah, we left June 3rd. June 3rd. Yeah. Mm, so, and then this, 
the walls here, those are all uh, tongue and groove. Tongue and groove, just cedar paneling. Yeah, just yeah, it's super all cute. the way through. All yeah. the way through. So, this is kind of a mistake that we made that helped out because the tongue and groove obviously only goes one direction. The hooks are only, you know. So we started here and came across and did the roof because we'd done the lights, so that was the best way. And then we did this wall because these walls are longer panels all the way across. Mm -hmm. And we found out that our grooves were not matching up <laughs> at the top. So there's a piece back here that is actually just cut and screwed in there. Yeah. Which works out because in the back where all our power is, well, the if we ever are. need to get to our wires, we can just unscrew that one thing. Yeah, and kind of, of bundled it up right in. there. Well, this whole van is a yeah, happy this accident. Is, this honestly. is all one big Bob Ross painting, man. Yeah. It looks like shit this, until you figure it out, oh, okay, they were doing something there. If you look at the sink here, you'll notice that we definitely didn't buy matching parts nope, we didn't. by accident. <laughs> Amazon frequently bought together just don't means trust people it. don't pay attention to what they're buying. Don't trust it. We Amazon frequently bought together, <laughs> and we were frequently incorrect. Yeah, multiple times, honestly. So this piece does not fit here at all. It, <laughs> not even just, close. And we had already cut the hole and installed the sink by the time we realized this. So we ended up having to cut a hole, like, if you look in here, like, there's the wall right here. So we had to cut into that wall. Yeah, there's a hole right to there. To even fit this and then cut another hole, like, here. It was a whole mess. But honestly, it worked out, you know? It, this is real there. life, all right? Yeah, real life. Uh, that's all the coffee maker. So one of the things we did because uh, we have the solar, we went 300 watts so we could have enough energy to run our blender. Guys. Honestly, sometimes you just need to use blender. And yep. honestly, like with my uh, business, I do a lot of recipes, so it really helps me out having the blender with me, you know, to do smoothies and energy bars and stuff like that, soups. Um, so it honestly helps us out just for us to have the extra power, the nice blender. It's um, twice a week. Yeah. It's a yeah. food prep. Yeah, so we'll normally do, prep. when we're on the road, it's the easiest because you get your groceries for the week because you're probably going to be away from service for a week or mm -hmm. away from like a central location for a week. So it's just camping. You prepare for a week of camping, and then that first day when we buy our groceries, we chop all our salads. Yeah, we, we chop up uh, everything. Cut all our veggies. We put everything in a somewhat meal plan so we can just grab mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And then we'll use it that day, and then we'll probably use it again like later in the week to make like pancakes or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. But it's probably about twice a week. So we have three VMAX batteries, and they're each 155 amp hours. Amp hours. <laughs> amp hours. Use and so, that. Amp hours. Yeah. I want that in there. And so that uh, totals 465 amp hours. Yeah, we so, do. And then we have the 2000 watt inverter. So this whole thing is, again, just all mistakes. So we didn't know at what point our power would emergency shut off. Oh, yeah. And we were talking to everybody about his very similar setup. His setup shuts down at 12.5. Um, and we're like, well, okay. So there's days where we're at like 13.1 and it's like cloudy like. and it's gonna be cloudy for three days in the forecast. So we slowly start turning shit off, keeping it just so the, the fridge is going, like reducing our power, just making sure that we don't hit that 12.5. Well, like three months into the road, <laughs> four months on the road, we finally actually look, we use Google like adults should do. and it goes down to 10.5. So we were just sitting there yeah, like, with like three more days of full <laughs> like battery power. Using candles yeah. and like all this stuff. And it's like, oh, we could have, we had two more to go until it was dead. So, but it does make this like, really weird like low scream when it's about to like Sounds turn like off white noise yeah it's like, like and it starts off really slow like it's like it's whispering it's morning too. yeah <laughs> and then it's like gets no louder power. and like, no power. And the just first shit. time it happened we both woke up in the middle of the night just like what is that yeah noise? we're like we're outside the van like, yeah like well, are we by a portal are we at Sedona? is there a portal here <laughs> it sucks frustrating i hate it I hate We're it. Very <laughs> so with the sink and doing dishes, honestly, like I hate it. It is like the one thing that I wish we would have done differently in the van because we installed a pump sink and just hand thinking, pump. yeah, just like a hand pump sink and just, and you know, obviously it doesn't fit. So the water just kind of like pours and right it, there. It would be different <laughs> if it pumped back. 
if you had a two-way, yeah, like, had maybe if there was some kind of pressure thing to where it would be continuous water flow, but this is cool. This is, here we go. <laughs> We're going to get it. All right. And when you're trying to wash a dish off, it's like clean, ta, clean, yeah, leave it ta, in there. clean, or like trying to wash your hands is very so difficult. So you know, at the airport and there's the sinks that are the stupid touch at the top thing. Oh, yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, let's try this again. That's essentially, we live yeah. in an airport sink. Yeah, and so I just wish we would have had continuous water, you know, just like hooked it up to our electricity, which would have been super easy to yeah. do, and we, which we still could and do, we looked at honestly. It, and it, it, we could do it, it's just we would have to, you know, with the holes already cut first. in it. We're going to go ahead and do that. Give us a year. <laughs> definitely <laughs> a year. Probably not going to do it soon. Mm -mm, definitely not. Yeah. For what it's, it's used for our dishes are simple like yeah, we don't for sure we don't have a lot of like hard to get off stuff mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty much try to clean it like as soon as we uh, make the mess so obviously. our setup is yeah. all made so it's you always have to be like an emotion if you're doing dinner you have to do it step by step prep cook clean mm -hmm. it's not like prep leave it in the fridge and you know it's not cook and then let the dishes sit there and let everything settle it's just got to be a fluid motion because otherwise because if that food dries that, pain. If that but, food dries you know you're that that's that kind of sucks yeah but other than that like it's been fine yeah honestly it, it's really not terrible i just like i wish you know that i had running water but at the same time like it does save us a lot of water like with the six gallons like that'll last us a couple weeks honestly if yeah uh, the six gallon tank lasts longer than any of our water yeah for sure Hands and down. it's like if we would have had running water where it was just like wasting all that water then mm. you know it we would have had to fill yeah, up a lot our often and water takes a long time for us to go through sure. our water goes mostly to cooking yeah us. it goes to the process of cooking, not the process of cleaning more so than anything. Yeah, everything's just like, uh, it's fluid. So it's like stove is here. So it's close to sink, close to like down here are canned goods and stuff. Yeah, canned goods, Up spices, here is all of our pots, pots and, pans. and pans. Everything is um, as accessible to this Up point. here, cups, we keep all of our vitamins and then, you know, dog treats and random stuff there. Snacks! Snacks! Oh, yeah. That's the Snacks. best part. <laughs> vodka. vodka. Ooh, that's good. I didn't random know we had that. vodka that we have that will like never How, drink. Oh my, go oh my goodness. <laughs> Who so is that? So these, uh, these things are pretty funny. I'm going to take a shot actually probably right now. No, don't do that. <laughs> these things are pretty funny because uh, they were supposed to be two inches shorter. Yeah. And like we said, everything about right here. Yeah. Like the whole thing. This was not supposed to be all the way down there, mm -mm. but everything was made like, like her grandpa kind of made a point to make everything slightly bigger yeah. aside from what we were going for. And it's just been a huge help. It has been a huge like, help. Like, having that extra space is so... I can't... It, this is frustrating at times. There's times where you're like, you stupid ass beans, get in there. <laughs> but if I didn't have that space, there would be no stupid ass beans. There would be no question. Yeah, exactly. Those, yeah. Like, every, all of our stuff be. just like kind of like ended up fitting into it perfectly. You know? Yeah, our van be... ended up being our van on accident. Like yeah, every, totally like by The accident. way that it looks now, it so suits us and it's so perfectly mm -hmm. missed perfect. It's just, it shouldn't have worked out like this, but we it, got yeah, exactly what it, we needed. Exactly. And otherwise, if we would have done the original plan, we would have been like, oh, we are shit van builders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. A garbage build. <laughs> Behind all of our paneling is a brace, like a, uh, a spine, like a rib cage almost in the van all along the actual uh, supports, yeah. we have a piece of one by twos. So everything is, those are the only things screwed into the frame. Because when we did our insulation, we did a layer of the um, styrofoam insulation mm -hmm. and then sprayed that with like gap and crack filler, foam insulation, and then we did a layer of Reflectix. But the layer of Reflectix needs an inch and a half Oh, yeah, for it an to air work. gap for it to actually work. Mm -hmm. If it's laid p directly on something, it loses its its value. It's already such a low reflective value or insulative value that it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. If you put it up next to something, it's essentially just it sitting there and it's taking the same. But if it has that gap, then it can actually work the way it's intended. We made it with those spines so we have that gap all the way through it. Mm -hmm. There's no questions asked. Mm -hmm. So it's 
insulation, reflectix, vapor barrier, spine. Yeah. yeah it works really, really good. It's um, noticeably different in the back because the back of the van is all insulated. Roof's all insulated, doors are insulated, all the walls all the way down behind all of this. Even behind here where it's not exposed, uh, <laughs> have a seizure in the middle of this. It's all insulated. In the front where it's not, because we didn't spend the time, because we don't live there. We're yeah, renting that for a buddy to drive around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it's drastically colder and hotter in there. It is, drastically. It's drastically. This it's crazy. here is not insulated the way the rest of it is. And inside there in the summer, it's very it's hot. It's so hot And in, in the winter, there. it's freezing. So. Having no air coming in from the front, because this is a thick enough blanket, it's almost like having a just another form of insulation. And yeah. it, it works. When and that's open, we also when we have... leave it open on the sides here, if at night we fall asleep and there's like a on the other side, it's noticeably like it, cold. It does get pretty noticeably. cold. Noticeably. But we also have a Mr. Buddy heater, you know, that we just use like, 10 minutes and it warms up the entire van like pretty well. Oh, so, sure. you know, we ha we don't really run into too many problems. Like it sometimes it's freezing. Like it, sometimes it is really cold, but like luckily, you know, we have enough blankets and body heat and we have dogs that we can snuggle with. So, you know, it, it works out. It also keeps it cool too, which is mm -hmm. the flip side, which I like better because it's like when it's hot, and if the van's not been open in the morning and you get that nice like overnight cool air, it'll stay in here till we open the van. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she opens the van door, I'm just sweating balls <laughs> in the, the bed. It's like someone just threw like a shit ton of sun at me <laughs> and this thing heats up. But you notice it, does, it as yeah. soon as that seal is broken, mm -hmm. it's like, good job insulation. Yeah, but seriously, I feel, you're feel the real proud MVP of that. Here. Every time we looked at it, cause I was, I was getting frustrated doing the insulation because it's like everyone has it feels like an opinion it doesn't feel like anyone has any facts about it yeah it's like everyone's yeah, like we well the way that i chose to do it and it's like that's cool but did you choose the right way mm -hmm. that's all we needed to know and it turns out a majority of the things we saw were not the yeah, right way yeah we're in the right the way it's crazy. on the thing says will not work without inch uh gap air gap yeah air gap so it's like the box says here so if we put it i see so many people put it directly to the metal and then do their next layer it's just putting it it's just metal it's just cold metal at that point mm -hmm. like so we would have wasted and it's a lot of reflectix it would have wasted us yeah 150 dollars, 200 dollars to do it wrong yeah for sure just to do it wrong, i was thinking about yeah. that like it bums me out to think about that people have it just sitting there mm -hmm. essentially they bought a wall these lights Oh uh, man, can't wait to show you the lights because yeah. it's the best part. Party time. Party time. So <laughs> these lights were actually suggested to us from uh, uh, Jason Giddy yeah, our from our Home on Wheels. And uh, they're just IKEA low amperage lights. They're but, they're just uh, LED lights, like little LED lights that we got from IKEA that were super cheap. So um, the way so we, we did got, it is there's with these regular lights they go three and then one here and then. The one, one and then three in the back mm. so if we turn on one switch the bed is mostly lit so and if we're in like the a little bit here like at the end of the night and we don't want people to see the light flooding in we'll just turn this one on mm -hmm. if we're if one of us is staying up and she's asleep <laughs> <laughs> i'm uh, asleep yeah i can put on the other yeah. side because it'll light up that one down there and then like mostly over here um and then the best part about <laughs> it is we got, you can't, tell you can't even tell, but, but so these are color lights. changing lights. We got, <laughs> we got four color changing lights here and you can pick a color, which mm -hmm. is nice for set in the mood. Mm -hmm. We do spooky greens and purples yeah, in and Halloween. Halloween, a nice <laughs> festive green or red for Christmas. Ooh, Valentine's Day, throw Ooh, on some nice. pink, <laughs> but wait, there's more. So there's this. Which, That's no, party. Wait, this, wait. Is, this is the mood setter. It slowly, subtly slowly changes, changes through the colors. Just Pretty rotates them. Nice. Yeah, throw on some smooth jazz. Or what? You got EDM? Throw party on these. They just flash. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah, they just they switch just back flashing. and forth. And it is it's amazing. It's the best thing. <laughs> because it does get dark enough in here to where it's just a bunch of color changing lights. <laughs> Took that to a music festival. A lot of people dug it. A lot of people dug it. It was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, you I gotta have it. the party lights, I'm man. Loving, you if do. you're gonna be hosting, you gotta be a proper host, <laughs> and really everyone do. likes to dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's <laughs> and then true. we also have like a strip of um, Christmas lights that are blue, just like lining the van. 
holiday lights. <laughs> holiday, sorry, sorry, Didn't sorry, Christmas everybody. Lights. Holiday They're Christmas lights. <laughs> uh, so the funny thing too about the Christmas lights, we're uh, uh, yeah. putting these eye hooks in one day, and like nailing them. We're in a Target parking lot. It's like, you know, knocking on it, and there's probably fifteen to twenty of them throughout of them the van. Here, yeah, and. We get all our Christmas lights there. Our Christmas lights were strung across where these are just perimeter. Mm -hmm. You know, very festive. Super v, festive. V festive. Yeah, we get into Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we get them all up and we're going to show the internet because why wouldn't you? Obviously. That's why you do stuff is you show the internet. <laughs> so we were going to story that we did it and we got a knock on the door that it's the cops. They thought someone was knocking to get out. Yeah, someone like called the cops on us thinking that someone was in here being held against yeah. their will and like banging to get out. <laughs> At the out. end of it, there's like eight, literally eight cops, eight cops four cop cars us. surrounding us. And, and like... Gee, it was just a huge joke. They took, the yeah, it ended up being a huge joke, but they like took me aside and they were like, they were like, is anything going on? Are you sure you're okay? I'm like, this is my husband. Like we live in here. We're married. They like, took me and aside and good. were just for sure that I had taken this pretty oh, girl. Oh yeah, like, totally. Schlubbo here doesn't <laughs> deserve what's going on. There's some drugs involved because old Schlubbo doesn't deserve this. <laughs> Cops yeah. were like, it doesn't even fucking make sense. He's not even attractive. <laughs> so, he's living in a van. Right? Yeah, he's living in a yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, okay, something doesn't add up here. <laughs> no, but it ended up being really funny, and they, like, super dug, like, the van, and, like, we're playing with the dogs and stuff. But, it, that, yeah, that was just a really funny story. <laughs> but, also, we put in the wrong lights. So, Van Life oh, Pro Tip. yeah. Get LED, LED Christmas, Christmas lights, lights. Not your standard Christmas lights, because we had the standard, just cheapo Christmas no, lights. cheap ones. <laughs> it drained our power. <laughs> it was like so turning on fast. 13, air, like, hair dryers at once. <laughs> it yeah. cruising down the road like i feel like we should have more power it's sunny as shit in california no no not yeah, with them no yeah that took up so much power so kind of moving back like from the sink on underneath the sink we actually have uh two six gallon jerry cans one for one for gray water one for clean water uh, that's where we also keep all of our cleaning products trash bags stuff like that and oh my god the best tiny broom it's oh, tiny, tiny broom. broom. Tiny broom. It's the best for your tiny home. It's, it's wonderful. Cute. It's cute. My grandma couldn't help but buy it for me when she saw it, honestly. She was like, it had a cow. And then moving back here, you know, we have our spice rack, fruit basket. We originally got that one that like every van life person has, that it's like a white basket. And we have just so much fruit, to, so much fruits and vegetables all the time that it just, it fruits broke. Fruits all veggies. Fruits all veggies. <laughs> you got it. You can say these. These are words you know. <laughs> um, that it just broke so we ended up buying this basket and it's jerry rig totally not meant to be here but hey it works yeah so this is a banana hook yeah that was originally that a banana hook. ironically is still a banana hook just still but it does hold the back just, of it because yeah. then i bought it and i was like that'll work and then realized that won't work like that just will fall but luckily that hook was already there worked out perfectly like we said it's one huge accident so this whole here. thing actually moves when we cook too we take this down if we cook inside the reason we did not install a grill inside or like a stovetop inside is that we wanted to be able to also cook outside most of the time we prefer it that way so i'll normally just take all my stuff outside we have like this outdoor like grill station it's really cool it's like a table and it brings up another table and it has a table in here it's really cool it folds up really well so basically we'll just like move this and then move that over and then it's under here where we keep like our propane and stuff and then also that's a bad idea what <laughs> we do that but you shouldn't do that oh leaving it right there yeah no there's a lip it never falls yeah but that should be in the back there's a warning on it i just don't want to say that's the way to do it we're wrong for that <laughs> we are just a little bit um but it's super easy to cook in here um we don't have one of those like giant propane takes honestly just for like safety reasons and it's just eat, like i all the i know that we I've shouldn't heard were propane tanks and it freaks yeah me out. it right. does kind of freak me out cooking is really really great i if i could have two of these stoves i would because i cook so many different things at once that i'm normally using like two pans and two pots to cook everything um but and honestly this is a huge this company that we use oh, God, uh, we messed up our first one like something happened mm -hmm, in it mm -hmm. and it started leaking in propane so um so that was a yeah. huge help like, oh. for you on your travels the stanport one Stansport. they were awesome 
stands for? Built for your pleasure. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> the same. Ma maybe. I do. We cook honestly. out here instead of cooking in people's houses a lot when given the option. If that yeah. helps, we'll cook yeah, out we'll in their front yard, here, like in front of our van, as opposed to cooking. It's just easy. It's We're just used nice to, it. to have port like the portability of it and being able. It's like not because sometimes it's freaking hot inside, and then you add that extra heat to the inside, and it gets so hot, and we're all just like sweating and dying. And <laughs> Get real dizzy. <laughs> we also have this carbon monoxide and smoke detector right here. Always um, the fan on. But Always it, ventilation. Uh, but um, this thing goes off like 10 times a day because we always forget to take it down before we start cooking. And so the heat goes right there and it freaks out. And it, she talks, she's like, fire, fire, fire. Um, so loud. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Cooking, we just take it down. <laughs> yeah, right. Yep, hide it under a pillow. Uh, so this is great too, because it's like, we go to a lot of places where it's just like, we're at a park. We slept overnight in a park and we didn't want to be outside. So to take that mm -hmm. to a picnic table and cook on a picnic table is yeah, intrusive. Yeah, super nice. It doesn't look like, you know, we're anybody except for a family out for the day. Mm -hmm. Family out for the day. That was nice, huh, babe? Aww, that's yeah, so cute of that's us. Cool. That's cool. Cool fun thing I did. <laughs> um, and then the refrigerator, super basic. We just got one of the ARBs. It's like the smallest one. I think it's like a 37 quart. Um, going back, I probably would have spent the extra like 200 bucks and got something bigger but this works well you just open it there's like plenty of storage plenty of space for you know all of our veggies and stuff it stays pretty cool it uses only like one amp per hour so that's another um, thing this yeah it's crazy it's amazing it's crazy we see a lot of people with the Dometic fridge and it just uses more power it, it uses it's a little bit great. more power doesn't our power doesn't notice it at all mm -hmm. everything stays cool everything stays yeah as is yeah i really really like this fridge like it's been great it's expensive no but not to have a cooler and have to like replace ice all the time i, I think it's definitely worth it to have a fridge yeah so not replace ice all the time is huge we have been like living basically in his work parking lot because we talked to security there and they allowed yeah. us to stay yeah, in yeah. his work parking lot that's super so cool so it's super yeah. cool of them because we they just asked us to move spots every so often <laughs> but we're right next to like a walmart a starbucks a pet literally it's a giant like huge strip mall so it's great mini america to, right there. yeah it really is mini, movie theater y'all can get your so. popcorn y'all can get your dog's food <laughs> yes y'all yes, can, yes. can get a onesie from the walmart it's great it is great so i'll make him food and like bring it in in like a tupperware container and it's always like brussels sprouts broccoli asparagus the stinkiest foods and everyone's Steamed like brussels sprouts. did you bring that fart just box pure old again? box of asshole oh she God, brings me delicious it and it's always great always always smell. good food <laughs> let's make sure that no one's here by the end of my meal <laughs> Um, so to come up with this whole thing, I didn't really come up with it. Um, honestly, another Jason Giddy, our home on our wheels. Home on wheels. Uh, honestly, like going into this, like you know, I really did like the the style of their build. Like obviously, we did a lot of things different, um, but just a few things here and there. You know, like this pull out fridge that was a really good idea that I like, and just like, a few other things. Jason's um, builds are so practical. Jason, yeah, the Jason's builds are super practical. Like, he does a really good job. That's what I dig about him. Um, you see a lot of people who do stuff that like, it's more of like a vanity than it is yeah it's more for pictures yeah it's people like, do builds for pictures i just feel like there's a lot of stuff that people have to be struggling a lot behind the camera mm -hmm. to show that because it's like if we lived in some of the the pretty rigs that we've seen i it would be so hard i feel like mm -hmm. yeah just a lot less storage you know and a lot less you know just like, like we sacrifice the space for the pictures in here so we have our big closet so we have this big closet like, you know it doesn't look good been, honestly yeah, it's bulky mm -hmm. but it's been it's so hugely helpful we both have i have a drawer she has two i have two obviously i have I, most of the closet oh yeah i get about a third of this <laughs> and that was very nice of me to think it was a third yeah honestly like and a fourth it's been awesome though like this is great too because all of our hangers again this was something we went bigger out than we planned to mm -hmm. originally it was supposed to be probably six inches less wide thinner is the word <laughs> but i you guess I, yeah, I need a thesaurus <laughs> or a dictionary because yeah. it's for words wow. <laughs> <laughs> again just having a stroke this is great but it was supposed to be six in inches shorter and we didn't account for hangers because our brains don't work so 
now all our hangers fit the right way so we can slide through clothes, which is just mm -hmm. a huge, huge help. Yeah. She has a ton of clothes. And it guess, works perfect. I'm like a cartoon character and I don't care. Thing is, is that personally, like, I know I have a lot of clothes, but like I said earlier, like with the shoe things, like it just, it makes me feel comfortable. It's like a part of like who I am. I'm really into like fashion and style. And that's something that I didn't want to go up get, going into this lifestyle. I just, and also with my business, you know, we, we do a lot of photo shoots, you know, um, and I have to kind of look presentable in my business. So I'm having a lot a of, so I don't have to look like, I look yeah. like shit all the time. So I don't <laughs> see my face for like 15 days, sometimes best. I have no <laughs> idea what I look like. And I always have to see it, you know, always in front of a camera. So, you know, I just, I kind of have to look presentable and have, you know, a lot of different clothes. So, uh, it really works out for us it's having this much storage space. A lot of people could get by with less definitely. Um, but like we said, like we did this build for our, for our comfort. We knew that we were going to be on the road for a, at least two years. That was uh, in our mindset was about two years. We wanted two years worth of clothes. If something happened and we got stuck on the other side of the country, we didn't want to have to have a bunch of shit shipped to us or mm -hmm. fly back and figure it out. Mm -hmm. We can live here. If something, God forbid something happens and we have to stop and work somewhere, we can. Yeah. We have, we've lived out of the van for now eight months. Ten, ten months. Ten months. Ten, ten months coming months. on a year. We've lived completely out of the van. Hmm. So it's like, that's because we made the bigger closet Mm -hmm. the bigger cabinets you know mm -hmm. just you know, slightly bigger just so we're not minimalist i do i gotta say yeah. that right now we're not <laughs> a lot of people think that you do this life to strip yourself of everything that it is you own ours is in storage we have a storage unit we're very like yeah we have a storage unit have here in arizona a uh, full we apartments have a full worth of mm -hmm. like our dresser couches clothes more clothes more clothes like, god i actually have a Close. <laughs> Going to our storage unit is like Christmas. It's like Christmas. It's like a, it's like, it's like like a free I Christmas. This. It's like <laughs> adults. Oh, cool, man! How cool to be to cook out of the crock pot <laughs> one day. Like, but it's it's just like we you know have spent a lot of time over our life you know collecting things that we really like, and a lot of people you know get, don't really like their stuff, so they'll get rid of it or sell it. Um, but to us, like our stuff, like means something. Like and, we spend a lot of time getting things that we of, like. We don't have a ton of shit like we yeah. were living in an la apartment you can't have a ton of shit yeah, it's definitely like a, a yeah. 10 by 10 so it's like when we say that we have an not... apartment full of stuff it's like three times bigger than this was our apartment yeah for sure yeah so it's exactly not, we didn't have it's much not a stuff, bunch but... but yeah we do definitely have and, and sizing down sizing down like was kind of difficult but at the same time it was just like even though you you know you have the stuff that you use most you well, know yeah. like even in a house like you have that those certain clothes that you wear probably every day mm -hmm. you know and so like doing figuring out all that was kind of easy and then figuring you know what kind of pots and pans you need and what kind of this and that um, it's kind of funny too because even though we are reduced we've now reduced twice since then yeah yeah we've we done find fan that we just bring too much shit mm -hmm. like shit you just don't realize you need you know or realize or you don't, don't, don't need. need. Yeah, it's realize like, you don't need. Oh, we need raincoats. <laughs> oh, <Funny>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we're in London and it's the weather's so breezy. Every day. <laughs> no, we don't need that. We just brought it because we saw a thing once yeah the, yeah we've we've taken a lot out of the van um in different like sections you know like we came back to arizona in september and did a van purge and then we came back again in november and did another one um and so now we just did one the other day because we're getting ready to um head back out on the road on saturday Can't we're wait. very excited i feel like we've really gotten it down you know you kind of have to learn the van you you have to like figure out what works and then and then Even it's like, like you end up putting something somewhere else and you're like why wasn't that there the whole time? Computer like, you storage. just don't think about uh, it. Toilet paper storage. It's just things you just, they, you put them there once to get it out of the way, and you're like, oh, that that's smart. its spot. Yeah, like, that's just, where it's supposed to go. We just weren't sure yet. Yeah. Only thing that was built to scale is the spec stuff. Like, mm -hmm. to this point here where I'm sitting is all to, is how it should have been. Mm -hmm. It's like our under storage back here, our bookshelf all this stuff is the well, only thing that we did right <laughs> and then like this bench right here this originally wasn't supposed to be here 
our, but it's where all of our batteries are and our inverter and everything. It was originally gonna go underneath the bed, but my grandpa actually came up with the idea to build something right here to put them in just to make it easily accessed and- um, Again, if shit happens, I don't want my bed to be just burning before I'm awake. But we, would, we wouldn't, I, I, we wouldn't even know. It would be too late by the time anything happened here. We can get away. We can get to it. And then it also like opened up this space, you know, to have a seat. Uh, I really actually Look how like, little this you know, thing we is. sit there. She can't. She can't. Oh yeah, and me and we, me, it. she would never get on this what bed. What happened is that me and Tink were having a really hard time getting up on the bed when it wasn't there. And so my grandpa was like, Let's do a step right here, we'll put your batteries in it and then it actually opened up space to put a trash can. So we have our trash can right here. Oh, and then it also opened up space. You'll see we have like a little like nightstand right here with like four drawers as well and we use that for like all of our utensils and honestly a junk drawer like you gotta have a junk junk drawer wherever you are it just holds like all of our wires everything that we need every day but like doesn't have a place you know you don't want to put everything away all the time so it's nice to have that drawer there for little things like that and then like up here uh, is where we keep like all of our like um you know deodorants shampoos like just all that kind of stuff q-tips baby wipes um, this all the is, good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and reveal a Oh this, gosh, this is a secret. This is a key here. Okay, and then crotch spray. Crotch <laughs> spray. Honestly, it sounds a little weird, but nope. it's like it's the best thing deodorant. on the planet, honestly. You, if you're hiking, crotch deodorant. Crotch deodorant, honestly. That's what it is. It's a you guys, spray. It's a summer's Eve. Deal. You can get the Amazon for the best deal, or you can find it at any store, like literally any store, uh, like a big grocery store, Walmart, Target, no in way. like yeah. the in like the like lady section, like tampons yeah. and it's stuff like that, honestly. But it's the it's best. Made for a woman, but strong enough for a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we love this. It's literally the best thing we've ever. Seriously, come you don't want to be lives. stinking. When you don't, you don't know what you smell like. Yeah, That's the one don't. thing is like, again, I don't see my face for days. I don't know what I smell like because mm -hmm. I'm just around her. Our gauge is pretty equal and it's... Yeah, we definitely stink a lot. Our dogs are the only ones who see us. <laughs> so it's like if we have to go to the grocery store on that seventh day. Yeah, you know, know, you gotta have I don't have know, something. it's a crap shoot, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only spot that we made as we planned, except for this thing was her grandfather's idea. So what that is, is like, so it would have originally just been one big room almost, but we set up uh, some plywood across and put beams here. So it'll be, we have this other whole layer. So it gave us another row of storage, which has been immensely helpful. Yeah. All this, this is all idea. our camping stuff. This is our dog's food, our gym stuff. More shoes, shoes, more shoes, shoes. shoes. Um, here's shoes. <laughs> this is actually made of shoes. Um, this is all like our Christmas lights, our Halloween decorations, our turkey stuff for Thanksgiving. Yeah, like we said, we're very holiday yeah. excited. You know, stuff. We, we have a lot holidays. of uh, Christmas is the jam. Yeah, we celebrate all month. We literally have a December first party every year, and, and we go. Till we go I wear yeah, Santa hat and then till Christmas. Yeah, it's, we do it the night before. So like the November thirtieth, or yeah, November thirtieth, yeah. we go into midnight and we celebrate. It's, At Christmas, it's we start Christmas. Screaming, Welcome to the holidays, motherfucker! <laughs> Kissing yeah, everyone, hugging best. everyone. It's the best. Yeah, so that's a good time. <laughs> uh, yeah, all our canopies. This is all our. If we're in a spot for a week or three days or longer that's when this all comes into play because this yeah, is for sure. uh easy up it's our chairs like our outside chairs yeah like i said that um, grill that we have we have that set up we have, we have a little, little uh, table. table for it we have another side table mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like we kind of make it like our own little outside, outdoor apartment. You know, we, we got set up somewhere because when not? we got married, our registry because we already lived together, so we had apartment shit. We had like I don't need a fucking crock set pot it for, or forget it type of cooker. I don't yeah. give a shit about that. But what I do need is a canopy. Or what I do yeah. need are some tarps. Our registry, so our was, registry was all like, was like gas like, cards, like tents, you know, camping yeah. gear. It was all REI. Like, it was Depot all gift yeah. cards. We got a lot of those. It was great. That, yeah, and it, like that, that helped, helped us, us out. a lot with the build. It really did. Uh, some things. So we did pegboard here at the bottom, so we can just throw you know do that and stuff, stuff up. 
this this thing we just keep. We don't use it. Yeah, we not don't use it. it. It's just. Well, we don't get rid of it for some reason. I don't know. If I it's, just think you know. I feel like one we should day. just soak it in some essential oil, so at least has a smell. Ooh, you yeah, know? it makes the van smell nice. We chose the white here again just to make it feel more open. Anywhere there's space to not make it feel like there's a wall. Yeah, yeah I noticed that you're sweating a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, it was Sorry. sticky. I feel like I'm Very sweating sticky. a lot. Oh, so we have this one we actually oh, yeah. use all the time. So this is the same idea as the one up front. But it's look, really just for vanity. Look how sexy and sleek that is. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, yeah, no, that's the same thing, you know. Uh, this out. body pillow here. So this is the original Oh yeah, this uh, is the original this couch was cushions. The couch cushion. So this was material. our table runners um, from our wedding. So this bed is a twin size bed, or a full size bed turned and cut by seven inches. So yeah, it's seven it was inches cut shorter. At the bottom here, like down here at our feet. We bought the van so I could stand up in it because I wasn't gonna be able to sleep, but in like a ball. I'd sleep either diagonal or like rolled up or it on honestly, her side completely like we wanted to where like I can. we wanted to we he was willing to sacrifice like a comfortable sleep for more space in the van yeah for the we, you know instead because a lot of people do their beds long see, like queen size beds and stuff in here and that's just you, i just feel like you lose so much space yeah for sure like, but a lot of people you know sleep is super important to them so like they want to be comfortable when they sleep but like luckily you know i sleep like shit. I, I, I've I always had, yeah that's oh, nice. Like it's so comfy. It's she can, the TV's right at her feet. Her sleeping experience is so different. Much than mine. different than his. Throw on the office and curl up and have some room. Have all her trinkets. I have hot ass dogs. <laughs> the I'm dogs like always sleep on his side. Trying to fit. I'm six one. This is how my head is. <laughs> like this. So it's like seven inches because it was like it was less than six, and then we added the inch and a half on each yeah, side yeah because you have this and then we added and, an inch mm -hmm. of this so it's like we lose about five more inches yeah for sure yeah we but again it's just it's just sleep man if you're complaining about sleep go out with your fucking friends they're they're <laughs> gonna remember you not going you're not gonna remember work you know so <laughs> but yeah so that really honestly isn't an issue for us you know he sleeps diagonal on my side and i'm super short so it kind of just works out for us and we honestly if it sleep. wasn't for slash Come yeah, here, Slash here. is a this big guy, rock. This guy is not a big this dog. Slash. He is just a little boy until he sleeps. Until and then he, he weighs, somehow he goes from 35 to right around 700. Yeah. And he's it's just crazy. a solid, le this, solid uh, lead rock. And he gets so mad when your feet even go near like him. Like mean growl. Like mean growl. Like the only time he is ever mean is when you go near him with your feet. And it's his fault because he lays at our feet. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, it's, yeah, sleeping in this. That's full circle. It's not as super comfy as it could be, but it's a comfy memory foam bed. Yeah, so. exactly. It's really, it is nice. we got it off Amazon for like a hundred bucks and it's like the best mattress I think I've ever had. Uh, hundred bucks off Amazon. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you for checking out Tiny Home Tours and doing this yeah, for us. This seriously. is, seriously. we don't have the opportunity to show our stuff a lot. I mean, not that we want to show it off, but it's fun to show. Like we put some work into it, so we're pretty proud of it. Yeah, so definitely. So any amount of people watching it, thank you so much. We yeah, really appreciate thank it you. taking the time. Yeah, even um, just being here for the whole video, thank you. We will soon be doing our own uh, comedy van life, so comedy you can check life. out those videos below. Yeah, uh, that will be all linked those. in the description. Uh, there will also. Um, yeah, so basically, uh, from here on out, we're gonna be heading up the coast into Canada. We're doing coast to coast in Canada over the summer. We're really excited. I don't know when this is gonna be posted, but yeah, so if it's summertime, we're in Canada. You can find all of our travels at Living by the Mile on Instagram. Uh, we also have a website, uh, www.livingbythemile.com. We have a couple, a few blogs there. Uh, we're gonna be updating that a little bit more um, as time goes on, but. We, uh, I currently have an ebook out. It's called No Bad Days. It's uh, simply 24 tips to keep your day going good and some pictures. We uh, have that set up for donation. Uh, yeah, so even a if, dollar. You know, a dollar helps us out. You know, it helps, uh, us, helps us out with gas and food. It helps and us out with, uh, my next project will be another, mm -hmm. uh, it'll be a photo novel the next time. It's called Tiny Creature. So yeah, that'll so be exciting. about a year from June. 
is the the date that we'll be getting that out. So yeah. keep your eyes peeled for Tiny Creature because that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and then um, for me, uh, you can find my business at Be Confidently You on Instagram, and then you can also find uh, everything I have to offer. I do workouts, recipes, um, blogs, Wellness Wednesdays, uh, quick tips for fitness, and everything like that. Um, basically, my business is about not only basically using the body and the mind to promote like your highest self uh, to be the happiest version of yourself uh, so we not only work with the physical body but also mental wellness as well and you can actually uh, if you sign up to receive my newsletters and join my confident crew I actually designed a um, confidence guide it's called 30 ways in 30 days and it's actually 30 guides uh, 30 tips and tricks to ha to live your most confident self yet um, so you can check that out it's all for free uh, so just head over to www.beconfidentlyyou.blog and uh, you can find all of that there it's really cool um, I just started that that's why we're living in the van um, so we could both work on our creative you know paths and you know basically work for ourselves have time freedom and yeah Oh, really cool. And then shout out to Taco Bell because across the country. Oh, know. what up, Taco Bell? Bell small town the Taco Bells are the best. If you didn't know, they cool. are the best. Small town so Taco thank Bell. you. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thank you. Have a neat, cool day. Have a neat, cool day. Yeah.